Hi, I'm Ashley, the monogram mompreneur. Tis the season, it is holiday pajama stitching time. Um, in my Etsy shop, I sell a ton of Christmas pajamas. That's like my thing. So I have 11 pajamas to stitch today. Um, this is my first holiday season using both of my embroidery machines, so I'm so excited to see how productive I'm gonna be, especially with the Melco and how fast it is. These are gonna be straight, just names or monograms on the butt flap. Um, I'm using Love That Cotton. Love That Cotton has an amazing butt flap Christmas pajama, and so these are my top sellers every year. Of course, um, the classic red and green have always been a good seller for me, and then some of the patterns have been selling well as well. So, we have a lot to do. Okay, so I'm gonna give you my tips and tricks along the way, because doing one-offs, like a random birthday or applique shirt, um, you don't have to worry about consistency. But when you are doing 11 pairs of pajamas for a family who's gonna take a picture, you have to make sure your font looks good on each one, your placement is correct from sizes, kids to 3X. So that is gonna be what I'm gonna be doing before I design my font, figure out what size font I'm gonna use. I need to see my embroidery field, the smallest size that I'm doing and the biggest size and kinda of go with the best size font for that. So I'm gonna go ahead and sort these and start designing my font. So come along with me as we work on orders from my Etsy shop. Okay, so I have found, I have been loving, these are the, they're totes, they are 17.1 by 14 by 8 by 11 by 7. These are from Hobby Lobby, they were from the spring section in the organization, and these fit so good on this Michaels cart. Um, this was just like one of those like $29 or $39 wheelie cart. So a lot of my orders are multiples and they're not going to fit in those little pouches that everyone uses. I need the big bin. So, um, or I'll use like little white bin. So I'm going to put this one on the next one. And that way I keep them all together and I'm just going to go through and first I'm going to measure the butt flaps, um, the smallest to the, I think I have a small and a 3XL. So I'm going to try to find, see how, what the width is, that sort of thing. Then I'm going to go and design it on my computer and in Brilliance. There's some interesting names on this order. I love what I love seeing what people put on the butt flaps because, um, like, I haven't had anyone do anything too crazy, but they all put their little nicknames um, this particular order on the butt flaps, and it's gonna be the cutest picture ever, I'm sure. So okay, and then the next one I'm doing the kids pajamas, the green and white. They have a left chest name, so that's a little more tricky because um, you have to keep it smaller. Um, but it's, especially with the stripes, you have to keep it straight, but we're going to do good. We're going to get it done. All right, let's get designing. On my Melco, I used the Mighty Hoop for the adult PJs and then the Fast Frame. Um, I think that's the 8x14. And then I'm using my Old Faithful Poly Mesh, Fusible Poly Mesh. I love that stuff. And for the Fast Frame, I'm using some Sticky Stabilizer. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just prepping my Fusible Poly Mesh and I'm just going to iron it on to the butt flaps. Um, now I'm not going to use the heat press. Um, this time because of the buttons, I don't want to melt any things or, or break anything, so I'm using the good old-fashioned iron. And this is a foldable ironing board from Walmart. I get so many questions. It's just 
it was in the little ironing section. So make sure you check it out. It fits perfect to iron the poly mesh onto the butt flaps. All right, let's get going. It is now 11.45. I'm gonna go ahead and get to stitching. Everybody's sleeping. So I have three hours a day to work um, when my daughter's at preschool, and which is not a lot of time. So I'm just gonna go ahead and knock all these out tonight. I may be up all night. I'll let you know when I stop. And um, I'm gonna package them tomorrow. And maybe take a nap or my daughters at school. So let's get started. my test stitch out from earlier and I am going to use um, some tearaway that I got from All Stitch along with um, the poly mesh that's fused to the butt flap. Um, it just it makes it more stable um, and just gives a much better stitch out and so I'm also going to pin um, because there's extra fabric on that top and you don't want it to slip around so I'm pinning the butt flap to the actual pajama part um, so that way I don't have any movement.
was so frustrated. I kept having bobbin show through. Um, I did all my normal checks and troubleshooting and I figured out at the end it was just my thread. So I'll show you how I fixed it in the next video. in the morning. I embroidered all night just because I didn't want to have to worry about it today and stress about um, getting it shipped out today because I still would need to trim and package them um, and get them shipped out by tonight. Oh my gosh, y'all. So I'll try to record some tomorrow when I'm packaging everything up and um, I do not do this every night. Please don't think that. It's just these next two weeks are a little stressful. You know, you make so much, you could make so much money in these next like two little week window before Thanksgiving, then your Christmas rush is done. So like two weeks out of the year, I really push sleep to the side and try to push through and get things done. So I think I've got 11 pajamas um, embroidered tonight. Um, I think it would have went a lot faster. My daughter came up here a few times um, she took a late nap, so she fell asleep at 6 p.m. and woke up at 2 a.m. So yeah, I think I'm gonna go try to relax a little before I get to wake my son up for school. And yeah, this is just a day in the life of a Etsy shop owner and a mompreneur. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure you hit subscribe and stay tuned. I'll be posting a new video every day in December leading up to Christmas. Bye!